My husband Dave and I recently spent some time exploring Andalusia, a part of southern Spain brimming with history, culture, tradition and beauty. We experienced Seville's famous feria and visited two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Cathedral and the Alcazar. We also went to Cadiz during Carnival. Then I did a solo road trip, which I'm going to tell you and Katie all about during this series. Every Friday, there's a new morning calm experience for you to immerse yourself in. So, please follow us, read our blog, and enjoy this week's experience. Welcome to Sunny Header. We're here for a whirlwind tour today, so come and join us. It's going to be fun. Wow, how beautiful is Hadeth from above? Yeah, wow, it is an impressive sight. You can see for miles, oh, yeah, the cathedrals there, oh. Yeah, so we're gonna take a tour around this city and I've got to say, I was really impressed. I was blown away, really surprised by how lovely this place is. Not really on the tourist trail, which is interesting, but definitely something I would recommend to anyone in Andalusia. Yeah, it really was a great place. There's this amazing Alcazar, isn't there? But it was closed when we were there, so we didn't yeah, actually get to go in. But... There were some national holidays going on that we hadn't accounted for, but it looked beautiful from the outside. Um, and Hellas is actually quite famous for a few different things, including horses. Horses. Yeah, there's the Royal Andalusian School of Equestrian Art in Hellas. Very specific type of horses are bred here, and they teach them how to dance. Oh, oh yeah, I saw the YouTube video you sent, that was <laughs> yeah. it's quite funky. Um, it's also quite well known for flamenco, but specifically the, the musical side of it, the singing. Um, so yeah, and it's at just a beautiful town, really lovely. It's a to the right, isn't it? Yeah, and just so many lovely plathers, a perfect yeah. place to sit outside and have a beer. That's exactly what we did. I well, think yeah. we can see our table just about, and uh, yeah, we sat and had an ice cream and a coffee or something, didn't we? Did we yeah, have a we beer? Did. We did have a we, beer. Obviously we had a beer. Yeah. So now we're going to head to the cathedral, but first we're yeah, going to learn a little bit about Sherry. Exactly, I want to tell you about Sherry because Hedes is the birthplace of Sherry. Um, apparently wine has been being made in Spain since like 1100 BC, but when the Moors arrived in the 8th century, they brought with them the technology to make fortified mm -hmm. wine. And this is kind of one of the oldest and most well-known um, bodegas, which is the name of the places where they make Sherry. So, so this guy, he's a, he's a funky little character. Gonzalez yes, yeah. Bias. Well, yeah. he's Mr. Gonzalez and he teamed up with a brick called Bias. Whoa, this is an amazing view of the cathedral. So this is um, San Salvador Cathedral and it was built between 1695 and 1778. So it's really old, but it actually only became a cathedral in 1980. So it's one of the youngest cathedrals in Spain, which is quite interesting considering how old it looks. We actually got a ticket to be able to visit this, the bell tower and another church in the city as well. And it was well worth it. Yeah, they were all amazing. They all had kind of their own styles. Yeah, and we got a really good audio guide tour of both of the, the cathedral and the church that we're going to go to in a minute. This beautiful treasure is a solid silver tabernacle and it was, it was absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, really ostentatious. I love it. The cathedral also had this awesome like outdoor space as well that was very chill. Yeah, it was a really nice courtyard. I love all the orange trees. And I, if I recall, there was some weird like half a car in the corner somewhere. Oh yeah, there is. So yeah, really, really lovely view of the, the bell tower from here. We're going to go up it in a minute. Um, and you can just about see one of my favourite things you find on a cathedral. Flying buttresses. What? what? Flying buttresses? <laughs> They're those kind of archway support things towards the top of the cathedral. Oh yeah, to the, oh yeah. Oh yeah, looking from above you can really see them. You're yeah. Looking, yeah. I just love the name. I don't really understand their kind of ar architectural significance, but I just love the name Flying Buttress. It's a butcher's wife, then. It flies. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? Um, so, the, I mean, the view from the top of this bell tower was amazing. And the bell was huge. It was huge. Absolutely huge. And we were, yeah, you can, you can see that from inside the bell tower now. And, God, it was such a phenomenal place to look around. And what was really funny was they didn't warn us that the bells were actually going to go off. And we realised just in time, didn't we? Yeah, we had to leg it down the stairs because they were about to ring the bells. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure it would have deafened us definitely would have deafened us. Um, so here we are in the other big kind of religious site in the city. This is San Miguel Church. Absolutely wonderful. And we got entrance into this as well, included in our ticket. So obviously we went in. Really, really beautiful inside again, as well. Yeah, again, the front was just phenomenal. Yeah, it was beautiful inside, but the front was, it was breathtaking. It really was. Uh... Yeah, so we had another audio guided tour around this one. Um, there was a lot to see, loads of treasures and just 
really, really ornate. Again, like all of the cathedrals and churches we've been in in Spain so far. The altars were made of gold and were really beautiful. I mean, I just, oh, I love, I love the 360. I love the ceilings and the archways. And whoa, just the, that is just absolutely stunning. That's so beautiful. And there was all these treasures as well. The amount of money this is all worth. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's hundreds of millions, surely, or at least tens of millions. You would think so, because not only Prices. is it made of precious metals, but it's also really old. So, oh, yeah. look at this. Beautiful. So this was like the main square in the middle of the city. And um, we were lucky enough to see it with the fountain on. That doesn't often happen uh, yeah. for us. We're normally there when fountains are off. But this one was on, which is really nice. Again, palm trees just give me such a holiday feeling. I absolutely love it. And there was just everywhere we went, there was just little courtyards with tables and chairs, people drinking outside, probably a lot of sherry, um, sitting around, having a great time and enjoying the sun. I love this uh, plaza. There was, it was just this uh, busk of a man and then uh, just some beautiful buildings around here. It was just a very beautiful city. Just, it was quaint and it had so much history and these old churches that were just littered around like every Spanish city. Oh, I've got a couple more sherry facts for you before we leave. Sherry, the name sherry is only given to fortified wines that come from this region, from Cadiz. Um, and Jerez, the name is derived from the Moorish word for sherry. And also, according to Wikipedia, Jerez, the town, is actually twinned with tequila in Mexico, cognac in France and pisco in Peru. It's a pretty good company. That's amazing. It's twinned <laughs> to all those uh, different alcoholic cities. That's fantastic. <laughs> So if you're a fan of horses, cathedrals, sherry, flamenco, Hedeth is the place for you, for sure. Like, definitely come and visit 100%. it. hundred percent. It was beautiful. So we've just finished exploring Hereth for the day. And now we're in our very cute little cabin for the night. Uh, about to have a lovely steak and salad dinner. It's going to be awesome. And tomorrow we're going to Cadiz for carnival. So, come, yeah, come join us. I absolutely loved that cabin so much. It was, it was really lovely. It really was. Um, we're not going to Carnival tomorrow. We're going next week, but it's going to be amazing. Don't forget to like this video on Hareth and um, please leave your comments and everything on YouTube. We'll see you next week for Carnival. Woohoo! See you at Carnival. Are you looking for a new challenge or a new way to use your headset? Why not start learning Spanish in a virtual environment? With excellent instruction from the talented teacher Jen, we'll get you speaking Spanish in no time. You'll use your new language skills out and about with virtual amigos from around the world. Our three-hour virtual reality course is supported by additional learning materials in the real world. And this is all available free at morningcarnproductions.com forward slash dynamic.